Our Joey Prechtel joins us live now after he spoke with voters from both parties around the Treasure Valley. And Joey, much like the candidates, Democrats and Republicans took a much different approach tonight, didn't they? Yeah, they absolutely did, Mark. But one thing that was the same is that both Republicans and Democrats obviously excited going into the de into the debate, but for their own guy. Now, Republicans, they went out to the Terrace Drive-In Theater in Caldwell where they watched the debate on the big screen yet again. But this time around, Democrats actually did not host a watch party. Instead, they worked on get out the vote efforts. But we're going to start over in Caldwell, where you can see here that many cars lined up to watch the debate. And Kevin Miller, he was there live as well. Now, they did this all for the first debate as well. Now, Trump supporters parked their cars so they could social distance, and some enjoyed the debate from the bed of their pickup, while others even were grilling during the debate. Now, we did speak with the first vice chair of the state Republican party if she thought this debate could actually change people's minds. I feel like most people have made up their minds by now. So it's basically just pure entertainment at this level. Uh, the best that we can hope for is that Biden is made to look bad and maybe maybe just the few swing voters that are left, which I don't think there's that many, but maybe a few of them that really didn't know what they were going to do might see that he's not the person that he claims to be. While that was going on, the Idaho for Biden campaign was working on their get out the vote efforts. There, so there was no watch party there tonight. I did speak, however, with the Idaho for Biden communications director prior to the debate, and he said people were going to see a statesman versus a showman in the debate. And but also like the Republicans, he agrees that most people are already decided. I do think that a lot of people have made up their minds, but there are people who are undecided, and this is the last major opportunity uh, for both candidates to reach them in a nationally televised audience. Of course, Election Day is now less than two weeks away. Remember, tomorrow is the deadline to request an absentee ballot here in the state of Idaho. Or, of course, you can head out to the polls and vote early. Or you can obviously wait until Election Day to cast your ballot. You can find out much more about this year's election on our website, ktvb.com. Just look for our 2020 voter guide. Mark? Just uh, 11 days away. Here we go. All right, Joey, thank you.